Hey everyone, in this video, let's take a look at how you can use Suno for mobile. In order to do so, here we are in Android and we're going to go ahead and open up Suno. And once we do, this is the screen that you should see. Got a couple options here to take a look at. Up at the top, you have your profile icon and you can edit your profile from here. You can share your profile as well. On the explore page, you can see that we can listen to all the many songs that other people have created with Suno. And there are a lot of different options to look through. Let's go ahead and click on the other icon over here. And here we're going to see that we have our library and you can search through here, your songs. And also you have your liked songs as well. Let's go ahead and click on the big create button here. And now you can see which options we have available once we start creating a song. We have our custom toggle up at the top. If you click on that, then you'll be able to see your lyrics. Otherwise, you're going to get a very basic prompt screen like this, and you can have some fun with that. There are some options here at the bottom surprise me let's go ahead and click on that there you go now we have an emotional emo song about being trapped in an ai song factory wow click surprise me again a dark metal song about a bad breakup we can select different options here if we want female vocals we could specify that if we want to add atmosphere chill hop why not and then you can hit create here at the bottom and suno will create something for you another thing we want to take a look at here is our version number we want to make sure that we're using the right version and if you have access to version 4 then i would recommend that you use that you may have to use a subscription to access version four, although I have heard that they are giving out access to it now. So you'll have to check in your area to see if that's available for you. We have the emotional, uh, excuse me, the instrumental toggle here at the bottom. And if we tap that, then that's going to tell Suno whether or not we want lyrics to our song. So, Let's go ahead and uh, hit create here. Actually, before we do that, I want to go back into custom. And now we have our lyrics. We got to toggle the instrumental off. And we can see here that we have this option here that says make random lyrics. Let's go ahead and click on that. And Suno will now start generating random lyrics. Now, one thing I'm not seeing here is I'm not seeing the uh, lyric uh, helper that you can find on the PC version. So bear in mind that on the PC version, you can have more control over the lyrics that you create with Suno, not just random lyrics. So that's important to note. We have our style. So let's go ahead and do that again. We kind of cleared our details, but yeah, let's go ahead and try something here. And uh, yeah, we've got our random lyrics. Why not? We'll go ahead and stick with that. And then we have the name of our song, Dancing with Shadows. Why not? Then let's go ahead and click Create. So now you can see that Suno is working and I think we're going to need to go over here to my songs. Yep. In order to see our song being generated. 
and uh, pretty much that's all there is to it. I don't have the audio coming through here, so you can just see for yourself what the process is. And now that we have uh, generated that, let's go ahead and take a look at our three little dots here. And you can see that we have a few options to choose from. We have share song, rename, make public, report inappropriate, report bad quality. So these options are much more limited than what's on the PC version. It seems as though you can definitely do some fun stuff with the Suno mobile app, but it is a stripped down version of what's on the PC. So just bear that in mind. If you want those extra controls, then you're going to need to try the PC version. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.